Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at the use of the selective color here. We're going to focus on the neutrals, but first of all, just to show something, we're going to go to the whites here and look at this gradient here. And just a reminder of what happens with this. If I turn this off there and turn this up and down, you can see that when I select whites here, it selects only the white half here above 50% gray. If I go to blacks, then the effect is only seen in the darker area. In other words, it's in a where the color here is less than 50%. So red, green and blue all have to be less than 50%. However, then if we go to the neutrals in the middle and look at what happens here, you can see it's affecting the central color. The whole spectrum is affected apart from the blacks at this end and the whites at this end. These are preserved, but the focus is in the middle. You can see this more if I go here to the reds, because this sign is a red control. If I turn this up here, then it's adding red here. But notice what, what I can do here is if I check the relative, to check uncheck that see nothing is happening here so it's the same when I'm turning it up however when I turn it down go down here now it's going cyan here because this is removing red because this is a near sort of reverse red control taking out the reds removing it and leaving the greens and blues now what happens if I take off the relative look what happens see what that so it gets a more smooth curve across here. So if you want a kind of smooth effect, just preserving the blacks and the whites, take the relative off to do that. You can also in this get stronger effects. So if I could say go to turning up these side, the reds there, if I want more red, I can do this by taking away, because this remember this is white here, I can take away the green and blue. So if I turn this up here, then I got a lot stronger effect in terms of the reds. Of course, also the, you've got this focus in the middle. It's strongest in the midtones. So I've got a more of a midtone controller with a sort of fading off towards the blacks and whites. Okay, let's have a look at this with a real picture. And this is really useful here. So if I go to adjustments and selective color and go to neutrals, I can easily change the color of the whole picture just by Tinting up here, see so pulling that up, adding reds, taking out reds which leave cyans. So I got that amount of control with it. I can also do things with this. I can turn up the reds. If I turn up a bit of green as well, red with a bit of green moves towards orange. So now I've got an orange tint to it. So you can, by thinking about how those tertiary colours work, you can turn this into any colour you like. If I take off the relative, you're getting a tend to get stronger effect here. So this is turning this up, getting a stronger effect of those pull up together and going down here. That's stronger there. Also what you do with this is the blacks are very useful because if I turn this up this just lightens the picture. And in fact, you can get a kind of high key effect with this and turning it down, you get it dark. But notice how here, notice how here the whites are preserved. And also when I'm going up to the whites here, notice the blacks are preserved. This provides a very useful way of controlling color within a picture. And you can, of course, mask this. You can produce the color you want. You can use the black control as a sort of an overall you know, readjustment towards things. If the colors are a bit strong, you can make it stand out or darken it down. So neutrals, very, very useful. And it's often better than using things like the recolor or the lens filter. So try that when doing these together. Anyway, that's about it. And thank you very much for watching.